What is up? This is your LA in a minute. And when Juan Francisco Ochoa opened up the first El Pollo Loco in Guasave, Sinaloa, Mexico in 1974, he had no idea that he was planting the seeds for what would become the largest grilled chicken chain in the United States. I'll bet he also had no idea that Brad Pitt would be the El Pollo Loco mascot just a couple years after the first location opened up in America right there on Alvarado Street in LA. Let's get into the history. So Ochoa had a small shoe store in Guasave in 1974, and by the time he'd get off work, the grilled chicken place that he liked was often out of chicken because they only grilled 100 chickens per day. Ochoa struck gold while discussing this plight with his wife, Florida. Knowing that she had a fruit-based marinade that was beloved by the family, he figured that he should sell his shoe inventory and convert the store to grilled chickens as there was obviously a high demand in the area. After converting the shoe store, they opened a small roadside location on January 6, 1974 with only 10 tables and only 15,000 pesos in working capital. The chicken secret, which is still the same to this day, was to coat the chicken in Florida's marinade for several hours prior to grilling. After only three hours on their first day, they sold all 43 chickens that they had purchased. The chicken business was, well, crazy, and Ochoa's brother Jaime opened a second location within two years. This was quickly followed by other locations that were owned and operated by Ochoa's other brothers and sisters in surrounding states. By the end of 1979, Ochoa had 85 restaurants in 20 cities throughout northern Mexico. It was at this point that Ochoa set his sights on opening north of the border. He was familiar with an area of Alvarado Street in LA, which had a high concentration of immigrants from Sinaloa. He opened that Alvarado location in 1980, and on the first day, well, look at this line. The expansion continued rapidly on both sides of the border in the early 1980s. It was during this ascension when the rising star of fast food crossed paths with a rising star in Hollywood, Brad Pitt. After leaving the University of Missouri, Brad Pitt moved to L.A., and one of his first jobs was for El Pollo Loco, where he even donned the chicken suit. He even told El Pollo Loco that he was proud of the gig, saying, man's gotta eat. In September of 1983, Ochoa sold the 19 U.S. locations, all of which were in Southern California, to Denny's for $11 million. Ochoa retained the 92 locations in Mexico as part of the agreement. El Pollo Loco's growth has since stagnated at about 500 locations, at one point being rolled up into something called Advanica. In 1999, it was sold to the equally inspiring sounding American Securities Capital Partners. Now the chicken is incredible and it's cooked in four stages for anywhere from 50 to 63 hours. Ochoa is also the founder of the beloved Texas-based Mexican fast food chain, Taco Palenque. From Guasave, Sinaloa to Los Angeles, El Pollo Loco was a chicken pioneer on both sides of the border. And that's crazy. All right, LA, it's been a minute.